Now, when I went there, I went there for two big reasons. One was get away from home. That was, seemed very far. Uh, the other was that it was extremely cheap, even in those times. Of course, uh, something like $65 a semester uh, for the tuition. And you paid about a dollar and a half a week for a room and so on. And in those days, Columbia University, or NYU in New York, were hundreds and hundreds of dollars, which I had no hope of ever finding. Uh, that was one reason. The other reason was the Avery Hopwood Awards. To my astonishment at that time, it was, uh, they gave out, each year they had a playwriting contest, a novel contest, poetry, essay, for the students in the, enrolled in the university. And they uh, gave prizes of from $250 to $1,000 uh, in 1930s. That was, uh, well, you could buy a Ford for 500 So that was <laughs> quite a lot of money. And it wasn't the money so much as the idea that they took that seriously enough they took writing seriously enough to do this. It was the only such thing in the United States, maybe in the world. Avery Hopwood was a uh, Michigan guy who had made a fortune writing farces, uh, getting Gertie's garter up in Mabel's room, stuff like that. And he died uh, quite young, but he'd left a will, leaving his millions to the university to invest and to give out the increment to students, which is still going to this day. Uh, and that was a great uh, attraction. As I say, it indicated that somebody there was taking this kind of thing professionally, seriously. It wasn't simply a, a, a kind of college uh, thing. And as in fact, a lot of very good writers came out of there. And I'm sure that they were attracted by the same thing I was. They still do. They, uh, it's a very active place for writers, Ann Arbor.